Josh Allen is getting plus 3,800 for the MVP odds. Do not waste your money on that pick. Just because he's plus 3,800 does not mean he is a good money pick. Do not, do not bet on that. Guys, the goal of that position is to take the ball in his right hand and throw the ball to a wide receiver and hit the wide receiver in his hands. Josh Allen is very bad at that. We have almost no history in the NFL of a quarterback being under performance for the first two years of his career, right? Below average, and then all becoming a star. The one guy is Alex Smith, and Alex Smith had poor coaching to start his career. That's not Josh Allen's problem. They have fantastic coaching in Buffalo, a fantastic defense in Buffalo, fantastic weapons for him. They've upgraded the offensive line. But he completed only 58% of passes last year. You don't continue to jump 6-7% a season. Maybe he gets to 60 this year. 60 would still put him about 24th, 25th, 27th in 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 accuracy. Dave, he's supposed to be this amazing deep ball thrower. Oh my god, what the greatest arm of all time. He cannot hit anyone for a long pass. Like who cares? One more thing for the naysayers, which which apparently includes you. Yes, there's a big swing in quality of defenses that he'll sure. face. He didn't play very good defenses, pass defenses specifically, but the schedule with the good defenses he's going to play specifically against the pass, it's backloaded. So if he gets if, yes. if you buy confidence and everything else. That if, if Josh Allen and company get on a little bit of a roll, they'll establish a formula. I agree with you. MVP, no, because the formula is going to be dominate defensively and run the ball, take care of the ball a little bit. He's not going to have to do a ton. He has to make a couple of special plays over the course of 60 minutes. That's going to be enough for them to win double-digit yeah. games this year.